Let me show you how to make finger licking homemade Korean fried chicken. Let's get started. How's it going everybody? Funky Cole Medina DIY back again to enhance your fine home dining experience. Thank you to everyone that has subscribed to the channel. If this is your first time visiting the channel, please consider subscribing, smash the like button, share the video. That way we can all enjoy this fine home dining experience together. Now these will be the ingredients for the chicken marinade. I have three pounds of chicken thighs, two cups of buttermilk. Now for the seasonings, I have salt, garlic powder, white pepper, and black pepper. Exact measurements will be in the description box down below. Now, if you don't have buttermilk, no need to panic. I will show you how to make some homemade buttermilk. Real easy. For every cup of buttermilk that you need, just use one cup of regular milk and a tablespoon of some type of acid, whether it's lemon juice or white vinegar. In my case, I have two cups of milk. I'm gonna use two tablespoons of lemon juice. Now let that sit for five minutes so it can turn into some buttermilk. When you're cutting up your chicken thighs, just trim off some of the excess fat. So just cut them in one inch strips. So however you cut them, just try to keep them the same size and shape. Now you don't have to use chicken thighs if you don't want to, you can use chicken breasts. I just find that the chicken thighs retain their moisture a lot better. If you've seen my previous video on making Vietnamese sandwiches, then I do explain on how well the chicken thighs do retain their moisture, especially if you're trying to heat them up for leftovers, which we all love. So if you try to heat them up, for leftovers and you use the chicken breast, they tend to dry out a little bit. All right, now that we have the chicken all cut up, let's go ahead and add our buttermilk. As you can see, this milk is curdled up. This is our homemade buttermilk. We added the two tablespoons of lemon juice for two cups of milk. So if you don't have buttermilk right away, you can make this real quick and easy. No reason to run down to the store and grab it. You can make it yourself. And we're gonna put our seasonings in there. Just give it a toss and we're going to put this in a Ziploc bag and let it sit for at least an hour. Now if you don't have a bag just leave it in your bowl, put some plastic wrap over it and just leave it in your fridge. Now if you don't want to dirty another dish just keep it in that bowl. I don't have enough room in my fridge so I, that's why I put it in the plastic bag. Now get yourself a bowl. You know I love to always protect my refrigerator from uh, contamination so we'll have a secondary containment. That way, just in case there's a hole in this bag, it doesn't spill all over the fridge and then I'll have to get my kids to clean it up. Now let's go ahead and pop that in the fridge for at least one hour. This is the ingredients for the breading for the Korean fried chicken. Now the ingredients that I'm giving you is for approximately six to eight people. We got some hungry teenagers here at the house and they love to eat and have some leftovers as well. So in the description box, I'll give you the exact ingredients for approximately four people. That way you can do the math and cut it in half or multiply it depending on how big your party is. So what I'm going to use is salt, pepper, garlic powder, celery salt. This is dried thyme, some baking powder, some red chili flakes, and I'm using some all-purpose flour. And right here, you know my favorite ingredient in a lot of my videos you'll see is good old smoked paprika. Now I'm going to toss all this in a bowl, mix it up, and just set it aside. Go ahead and pour your flour in the bowl all your other seasonings, and give it a good mix with your whisk. Now let's just put that aside and wait for our chicken to finish marinating. Now here are the ingredients for the sauce. We got some garlic cloves, we have honey, vegetable oil, brown sugar, soy sauce, and some ginger that I'm gonna peel and mince up. For the garlic, you can either mince it or put it in a garlic press. Now this ingredient, which is the most important, I'm sure I'm gonna butcher the name, but I call it gochujang sauce. This is what you'll need to make this Korean fried chicken. It's a brown rice red pepper paste. And this you can find in the international aisle at your grocery store in the Asian section. They should have it. That's what it looks like. Now for the toppings when you're done we're going to use green onion, sesame seeds, and more red pepper flakes. Optional if you don't want the heat. So as stated previously I'm going to have all the ingredients and exact measurements down in the description box down below. So let me get all these ingredients together in a pot and I'll be right back. Before you get your ingredients together, fill up a pot halfway with oil and get it to 350. Now 
I'll give it a mix and put it to the side and we'll wait till our chicken finishes marinating before we start cooking this. Now I have my flour mixture and my marinated chicken in a bowl and I laid out some aluminum foil on the counter. That way there'll be easy cleanup. No one likes to clean up. Now get yourself a bowl with a paper towel on the bottom so you can put your freshly fried chicken inside of it. You can also use a sheet pan with one of these wire trays. Just line the bottom with foil or paper towels. Now put your pot of sauce on the stove and set it to medium high heat. Now once it starts to come to a boil, go ahead and turn down your heat and let it simmer for five minutes. All right, let's go ahead and start frying our chicken. Get your buttermilk chicken, kind of shake off some of the excess buttermilk and put it in your flour. Once your chicken is in the flour, go ahead and toss it around and coat it evenly. All right, let's go ahead and put our chicken in the oil. Not too much, don't overcrowd it. Now just get a metal spatula and break them apart, that way they won't stick together. All right, these are done, nice and golden brown. Go ahead and put it in our bowl. Before you put your chicken inside the pot of oil, just shake off any excess. That way there's not a collection of flour all on the bottom of your pot. Now I went ahead and decided to put mine on a wire tray, keep it warm in the oven. But I would highly recommend getting a wire tray if you're gonna do any kind of fried food. It keeps them from getting soggy from the bottom. It creates that airflow underneath them, that way they can stay nice and crispy. All right, now when your sauce is almost done, it should have this consistency right here. Perfect. I get all that good fried chicken, put it in the bowl. You can see it's nice and crispy. Now get your sauce and just pour it all over your chicken. All right, now just give it a toss. We'll go ahead and plate that up. Now get yourself a plate with a nice bed of jasmine rice on the bottom. Garnish it with the green onion, the sesame seeds, and a little bit of chili red flake. I would even highly recommend putting a little bit of sriracha sauce on it. Now the flavor is very hard to describe. The gochujang sauce has a very unique flavor all on its own. I would highly recommend trying this if you love Asian food. Let me know what you think about the dish in the comment section. If this is your first time visiting the channel, please don't forget to hit subscribe. Smash that like button. I'll see you on the next video. Everyone watching, have a fabulous day.